Welcome back to High Stakes. Today, we will be discussing the following NCAAF matches that is happening on Thursday, September 28, 2023. We will be providing our team, total, and prop picks for the day. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. If you want access to our premium picks, you can check out our Patreon page. You can find the link to our Patreon page in the description and comment section below. Jacksonville State vs. Sam Houston State Take the Jacksonville State Gamecocks to improve to 4-1 ATS by covering here. The Jacksonville State Gamecocks are doing pretty well on the offensive side of things as they are averaging 25.8 points on 355 total yards per game. This is a program that loves to run the football as they are running for 231.5 yards per game, which is 8th in the NCAA. A big reason why their success on the ground has been the fact they have a great running back in senior Malik Jackson as he has 64 rushing attempts for 376 yards, 5.9 yards per carry, with a pair of rushing touchdowns while also catching 8 passes for 50 yards, 6.3 yards per reception. If the offense can move the chains with the passing game a bit more, this Gamecocks program could be a legitimate threat going forward. Their defense has been nothing short of outstanding as they are giving up 11.8 points on 279.8 total yards. They have been applying a ton of pressure as they are inside the top 15 with 14 total sacks and 7 interceptions. It is not like they have one player standing out as no player has more than two total sacks or more than one interception. This team defense has been incredible and should be able to continue flexing their muscles in this game. The Sam Houston State Bearcats have scored a total of 10 points through three games so expecting them to score much of anything is tough to ask for. The defense for Sam Houston also does not force turnovers so that is a massive red flag for them to even get into scoring range. The Bearcats have 24 total first downs through three games and injuries to their best defensive weapons do not help the case. Also, the under has hit in all four Jacksonville State games this year, as well as in two of the previous three Sam Houston State games, so go with the under here as well. The Sam Houston State Bearcats have been one of the worst defensive teams in college football as they are averaging 3.3 points on 147.7 total yards per game. Their 10 total points is 34 points lower than any team in the nation. Their passing game is the third worst in the sport, 105.7 yards, and last in rushing, 42.0 yards. They need to figure things out as their leading receiver and rusher are both on the injury report here. Senior quarterback Grant Gunnell started last game for his first action of the season and struggled so this will be interesting to see if they can move the ball at all. Their defense has been doing well despite the terrible offense as they are allowing 21.7 points on 351 total yards per game. They need to figure out how to stop the running attack as they are giving up 180.7 rushing yards per game, which is the 21st worst in the nation. Sam Houston State is doing this without much pressure or forcing mistakes as the program has recorded just two sacks, zero interceptions, two forced fumbles, and a fumble recovery. They need to force the opposing offense into more rush decisions to make things better. This Jacksonville State program can run the ball extremely well and the Sam Houston State defense does not do well defending it so they can essentially chew the clock. The Gamecocks kicker, Alan Karadzic, is just 4 of 7 on field goal attempts, including 2 of 5 on kicks 40 plus yards, while Sam Houston's kicker, Colby Sessoms, has only attempted one field goal this entire season. Not many plays due to the running game we talked about earlier and bad kickers equal low scoring games. 